Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, um, I'm doing something I've never done before, and that's a shell challenge on The Sims. If you don't know what a shell challenge is, um, I can't help you because I don't either. No, I'm just kidding. The one that I'm doing today is for um, a Discord that I'm a part of called The Flight Team. And uh, Corgi, my friend Corgi, made this little shell here. As you can see, there's already some other people that have done it. Um, and, uh, oh my god, 17 people have downloaded this shell. That's wild. Um, but yeah, so I've already downloaded it. If it, you're interested, even if you're not part of Flight Team, if you're interested and you want to check it out, uh, hashtag Flight Team Shell Challenge. It's right there. Corgi's gonna be making more. Um, if you're interested in joining Flight Team, I will link it below in the description. Um, there's no like real awards for winning this shell challenge. It's just a chance to be creative and have a good time. And normally I would do things like this on stream, but I decided today that I wanted to do something a little bit different. And that is to do it here on my channel. Um, so there's my character. He's just chilling. Uh, and I think this is the front of the house. Oh, and then for challenge rules, um, we can't edit the height. We can't get rid of walls, if I remember correctly. Probably. But I am gonna... Oh, no. That's <laughs> starting off strong. What I am gonna do, though, is I'm gonna turn it. Right? Is that... Is that the right way? Do I want it to go... Is that the right way? Yeah, okay, I want that part of the front. I'm like, help! Uh, yeah, so I want that to be the front of the house, and then we have the side of the house there. Perfect. Okay, so I've never done this before. I've never, um, I've never done a shell challenge. I've never seen, I've never built a house from the ground up. So this is gonna be a lot of me pretending like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Uh, what I do know that I want to do is I want to go for a little bit of a gothic feeling on the house. A little bit, um, a little bit gothic. I want to do something a little bit different and go just like a little bit darker. Um, and if you're a long time simmer and this upsets you, join the club, okay? Because it upsets me too. Ooh. I kind of like the idea of brick wall for the brick walls for the house maybe mm, maybe not i'm already struggling and i just started all right i think i think i'm just gonna do i think that's what we're gonna do okay and then I don't really know how roofs work. Um, I'm not good at roofing. I'm not good at anything, but roofing, I'm especially bad at. Oh, that's the sun hitting. I was like, what is this? It's the sun hitting my walls. Okay, so let's look at doors. I want this to be, like you want it to be inviting, but I also don't want people to think they can just walk in the front door, you know, like knock and like, I'll think about letting you in kind of deal. First order blast door. Pew pew. Yeah, no. Um, I love a glass. The problem is I love a good glass door. Like, like I kind of I like that. I think I want to do a balcony out on the back patio. I need to, I need to think, okay, we need to deviate rooms. We need to delineate rooms. Open floor plan. The whole house is a room. Now, obviously we want to do a foyer. Like you walk in, it's tough because every house I've ever had, like you walk in the door and like, here's the living space. Like, hello, I'm here. The way that we have built this house, and by we, I mean Jess, is that I don't know how I want to delineate. So like we could do like a little half, I didn't even gonna need money. I need money. Imagine putting a bathroom right by the front door. So like, oh my God, why am I so bad at this? I have no vision for this house. I have no vision. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, okay, so you walk in the front door. Table, coat rack, welcome. Okay, so bedroom, right here, bedroom. Okay, here's the vision. Okay, here's the vision. 
bedroom, bathroom. We could do this like a combo kitchen and then we open floor plan. Kitchen, dining room, living room. All of this is subject to change. I'm bad at this game, as you can tell. Stairs. Do you ever like suddenly forget how to rotate things? Okay, but what if we did, what if we did a ladder upstairs? What if in order to get upstairs, you have to climb a ladder? Now, hear me out. You're drunk as fuck, okay? And you have to get back down the stairs. You might get hurt. You might fall. You might die. But that's not my problem. Look at that. We're doing things different. Everyone else, staircases. Us, fucking ladder. Look at that. It only took me 20 minutes. Probably get some windows. To the window. To the wall. To the wall. The types of windows that we want. I don't want anything. I didn't really want anything too crazy here on these windows. Like I definitely want pretty windows on the front of the house. I'm actually really bad at placing windows in that I don't place them well. Like those are not even at all. Trying to give the house some natural light, you know? There. It's not even. But we have windows. We have natural light. Look at us. Alright, so... Cool. Alright. Now I guess let's talk about flooring. An obvious one for the bathroom is that we're going to do... Need to... No, I need black. Everything must be gothic. Ew, could you imagine metal flooring? Get the fuck out of here with that. No, thank you. What do we want this room to be? What if we turn this into an office library area? I know what you're thinking, but Ben, there's no delineation. You're right. I know. I'm aware. Okay. Uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper? Wall patterns. Yes, this is what I want. I like that for the bathroom. It's gonna give it some... Ooh. I lied. I like that for the bathroom. Ah. I know what you're thinking. Are we making a bedroom for a grown adult? Potentially. But, like, I never claim to be good at anything that we're doing here. So we're gonna probably go ahead and put a bathroom up here as well. Because like, who wants to go all the way downstairs to go to the bathroom, you know? That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna go ahead and delineate a bathroom there. Just like a half bath, nothing crazy. And then this is gonna be a party room. Where they're going to come up and they're going to get drinks. Um, I'll put a balcony like right here, potentially. Or like right, maybe this whole back area could be a balcony. Ooh. So the fun part about what I'm doing here is that I'm doing it without the help of my usual Sims friends. Normally I have people telling me what to do. This time I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just fucking winging it. And I feel like I'm living my best life in doing so. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Look at us. Look at us go. God, we're so fancy. So we do the wrap around. Little wrap, little wrap, little wrap around. 
do a little, a little wrap around. I should probably get some windows upstairs, shouldn't I? A door to the outside. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's see. Alright. I really want to use this up here for some reason. I don't explain it. I can't explain to you why I want to use it up there, but I really do. It's giving Evermore. Here's the part that's going to be ugly. Okay. Oh my god. Help! <laughs> ah! Oh no. Oh no. That looks a little bit better. We just lower it a little bit. Why are roofs so hard? Okay, that looks a, a little, a, like a tiny bit better. But genuinely, not, not much. So, what if I did this and this? Okay. Okay. Okay, next thought. Next thought. Right? Right? Okay. All right. Are y'all with me here? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? Mostly because truly at this point, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. It's coming together. It's not coming together how I wanted it to originally. Okay, but like imagine, never mind. Imagine if this is just a balcony that's there for looks and you're like, what are you doing? Nothing, because you can't see shit. But what I can do is put that there. Do we hate it? What do we think? Should I... Maybe... Give the roof some volume. This roof is not my child, but I will raise it. Okay, I think, all right, I think, I think in terms of the actual house, we've done good. We're gonna start here. We're gonna start where all good things must start, the bathroom. Remember, we're going for gothic. We want a good gothical feel. I guess I should put doors. I guess doors would be a good thing, wouldn't they? I'm gonna actually slide you there. Perfect. All right. Now, to the bathroom. Live in luxury. With this bathtub. Did it do 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 do. I only want the best. I just want like, is there like a bathroom mat? I just want like a bathroom mat, y'all. That's fine. How about a sink? Sink to wash your hands. Let's get ourselves a sink here. Um, That looks like a massive sink. What the fuck? I don't know. But let's also... Hmm. 
know what you're thinking. Ben, this isn't a very big bathroom. And you are correct. It's not. That doesn't mean I'm not going to overload this bad boy, though. Where's the toilet paper? So I am going to cheat because, like, listen, when it comes to light fixtures, I could give two shits less about a light fixture. I don't care. So what I'm going to do is what I do in my 100 BB challenge. And that is get the really cheap lights and just put them at the top. Because I, I genuinely do not care. The easiest things to light a Sims house with right here. Tell me that I'm wrong. You can't. Okay, bathroom. Done. Right? I think so. I don't want to go too crazy with, like, kitschy stuff. I don't want to overdo it with, like, obnoxious decorations. He says as he slaps. Oh my god, I can't forget the toilet paper. What are they going to wipe their ass with if I forget the toilet paper? Let's put some candles. Why not? Why not? Give me the nicest bed you own. I want so many nice things. I want, like, I, I, things that I put in my Sims builds generally are, like, things I can't afford in real life. So I feel the need to... splurge i would very much like a mirror in my bedroom this is a home for gothic baby let's hang a clock on the wall why not because it's cool as fuck and, like, it gives it a little splash of something extra, you know? Because, like, I do I do want, like, little splashes here and there. You know? Just, like, little itty-bitty splashes of life. But, like, nothing, nothing too splashy. Oh. Oh, that's... Quite, quite large. Quite large. Wasn't what I was expecting at all. That's Wicked Whim's stuff. We're gonna hang that in here and see if anybody notices it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have no idea. I don't know if Jess is gonna have her, her Wicked Whim's mod enabled. Um, so we're just gonna plug these things in here and see if she does. We're gonna have, we're gonna put one hidden dildo in this home. Just one hidden dildo. And I'm not going to tell you where it is. So if you want to know where it is, I'm going to edit that part out of this video. You're going to have to download the house and find it. I want to put a bookcase there. And then I'm just going to put like a comfy chair in the corner. And then a rug. So I love a good rug. How about we do one more plant? But we'll do like a floor plant this time. All right, the activities room slash office. Let's get a desk in here. Let's get a computer in here. I mean, it looks cool. I want to put an easel in here. Get inspired. You know? I think I'm also gonna put...
We'll put the dartboard upstairs. Because, like, this is more for, like, personal stuff, you know? Let's put some art in here. I love art. Look, I'm not going for perfection here. I'm just going for fun. Now, let's talk about the living room and dining room. Okay. Coffee table. I should add some stuff into the foyer area. I'm so bad at decorating, if we're being honest. Like, decorating and me are just not... Let's do one more chair, I think. Is it good? I don't know. Am I having fun? Yeah. Is the Sims music bumping? Fuck yeah, it is. Corner? Corner. It's the perfect kitchen for everyone. Me trying not to overdo it, but also really wanting to overdo it. It's the hard part. Hella simple kitchen. A little surface succulents right there. You know, give it a little pop. Well, like, not too much of a pop. This is still a gothic, you know, kitchen. All right, let's do a very simple uh, dining room area. Nothing crazy. There's bisexuals everywhere. Shoe rack? Shoe. Why are we gendering shoe racks? Next question. We're gonna put that there because I love Star Wars. I think it's a good decoration piece. It's a good conversation starter, if you will. You know, just a nice little like, oh, what have you got there? Oh, I love Star Wars. <laughs> oh, okay. Welcome in. All right, so the downstairs is <laughs> done. All right, now quickly upstairs. This thing's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's hidden, I've done it. <laughs> uh, why am I the way that I am? You might be asking yourself, I don't know. I ask myself the same question. I'm right, gonna pop a karaoke machine in this bad boy. I'm gonna put a bar out here. A dartboard. We'll put a Sabbath game channel out here, you know? Let's put a couch up here too to kind of lounge in. You know? Put a telescope out there. I'm getting to that point where I'm like ready to be done with this. Decorations. Give me plants. Ooh, an umbrella rack. Okay, and then just like a couple more chairs, potentially. Listen, this is a party house, okay? And that's why I've decided that we're gonna put this upstairs. Oh, I forgot there's supposed to be a bathroom in here too. Oops. I forgot about the bathroom. Bathroom. Well, half bath. 
I don't intend on winning this challenge, so I am very much just here for a good time. And not a long time. Oh, the hookah. The bubbly, the bubbling lounge. I forgot I wanted one of these. And then I want one in here too. I almost, can't believe I almost forgot. Okay, I think the house is done. The only other thing I need to do now is some outdoor stuff. Which, one of the things I really wanted to do was slap a pool. Look at that pool. Isn't it lovely? It's a lovely pool. I just think it's a lovely little... Yeah, I think it looks good. I think it's a nicely shaped pool. We'll slap some pool chairs. Lounge chairs, whatever you want to call them. Oh, I think I want outdoor furniture. Ah. Ooh, I lied. I want this one. side of the pool we put a grill and then we get ourselves a little picnic table see all this is what dreams are made of have you ever seen such a beautiful night what about some shrubbery? Mm. Oh. Oh, that's more fun. That's way more fun. Cool lights. Illuminate. Now I'm just being obnoxious and like adding as many things as I can. Terrain. Here we go. To add some fun terrain to the yard and then I think we're done. If it's phallic, it's for me. Oh, and then there's me just being an extra bitch. Can't help it, y'all. I can't help it. I like being extra. I like it. I think we did pretty good. Slap a couple trees.
to just give it like I don't know something just like a little something you know yeah I like it you can tell I got tired uh, a little bit <laughs> You can definitely tell I got tired uh, and done because that's how I get sometimes. Uh, but I am satisfied with it. I think we did a good job. There is a hidden dick in here somewhere. Good luck finding it. Um, but this was fun and highly enjoyable. And uh, if you enjoyed this, you should definitely hit the follow button. Do the little bell thingy. Um, and check out my Twitch channel as well where I play uh, the Hunter Baby Challenge like every week-ish. Um, because I'm not like a full-time sim streamer, but I do enjoy silly things. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time. Peace.